Okay, so here's my setup. I've got a Husky 80 gallon compressor. Here's all the ratings on it. Um, this one is not plug and play. You gotta actually install, uh, hardwire it to your breaker box, um, 30 amp breaker. I'm using the 45 XP for uh, cutting. I'm using uh, quick disconnects for everything. Uh, I've got a pressure gauge right before it goes into the unit. So when the unit is actually running, I can see the live pressure and tell exactly what the unit's getting. So right now I think I have it set like at 100 or, or just slightly below that and it's supposed to run at 90. And when the plasma cutter is running, it's right at 90 or just a little above 90. It's really important to do it right here, not anywhere before it because you wanna have it right before it goes in the unit because filters will give you false readings. Um, here's my filter, a tsunami filter. Uh, I just I just replaced it. This, this is what I was using before. I'm using it for painting now for automotive paint. But uh, it, it just consumables were dying too fast, and I had kept on having to change these beads all the time, and it's just too much work, man. This this water separator you have to clean it uh, every six months, and that's all you have to do. Period. You don't do anything else. And then for this, there's the oil one. There's some components you have to replace every six months, so it's relatively like zero maintenance, pretty much, and, and it's cheap. So um, I have a torch height controller. I just have it sitting on the ground here. Um, that's just plug and play. So uh, it's just, when you, when you get the torch height controller as an add-on, you take this off and there's a chip you put in there um, and then you wire it to your uh, CNC machine. I mean, your uh, plasma cutter using the uh, CNC port. So uh, the CNC port makes it really nice to have. Um, so I'm using, uh, a hand, the hand torch instead of a machine torch. And the only big difference is there with the hand torch, you have to do some modifications. You got to take apart this and there's one pin that you put out, you take out and you put it into another port in order to make it work with the, uh, plasma cutter. I mean, you're a CNC machine. Cause if you don't do that, it won't work. And then you have to zip tie these down. There's a, there's a good explanation of how to do this on the Langmere forum. We'll show you how to get it done and it's pretty straightforward. And I think I've also made a YouTube video on my uh, YouTube channel that will show you how to do it. So other than that, that's it. It's uh, nothing fancy, I guess, but uh, yeah, that's my system, man.